Hey everybody, it's Yuvin here for Brother to Brother Tutor, and uh, today we're back with a new tutorial uh, for a long time. Uh, this is a pretty simple uh, trick in uh, Sony Vegas, and it works in pretty much every other professional video editing program, but today we'll just show you how to do it in Vegas. Um, it's called a RAM preview, and what happens is, um, say you're editing a video, and uh, you can't get it to play without lag, so say this bit here. Okay, we'll get it to play and you see here it's only going at 19 to 20 frames per second As the video frame rate for this whole project is 60 so it's not going at the maximum 60 so what I'll do is I'll press shift and B so what it's doing now it's uh, rendering it out uh, like a pre-render and it'll keep it on the RAM the RAM is the pretty much one of the fastest parts of the computer it's, um, it's, it's memory and then things get stored on there and taken off very quickly and uh, yeah, it's pretty fast. So that's why it puts it on there. So next time you play it, like now, you can see it's going at uh, the full 60 frames per second, 100% smooth. Uh, so this is very useful when you're trying to edit something and you can't get things right. So I use this when I when I did used to edit this kind of stuff. I use this constantly, like every few seconds, <laughs> to be honest. Um, so what what you'll need to do is uh, go to just to make sure you have the right amount of RAM doing it. Um, currently I have 8 gigs of RAM. If you're using the 64-bit of whatever Vegas you're using, it'll only allow you to use, oh, uh, sorry, if you're using 64-bit, it'll allow you to use all your RAM, or almost all your RAM, with some reserved, obviously. And if you're using the 32-bit, it'll only let you use, I think, a 1 gigabyte. So, it's best to use this 64-bit. So, what you're going to do is set, say you have, currently I have 8 gigs of RAM. I had to get rid of some, but, yeah. Um, but currently I have 8. So I've set it, since I don't do it much, edit much, I just set it to 3000. So that's 3 gigs. Um, you can change it to whatever you like. Um, just keep some spare because when whatever this is set to, um, Vegas uses that when it's open. So as you can see here, it's using 5 gigs. That's a total. And 3 of that is from uh, Vegas. So if you don't have that much RAM, you're going to want to set it to a low number unless you're using it at the time. So yeah, um, if you have not, if you don't have enough, this is what happens. So let's say set it to, let's say, two hundred megabytes of RAM, and uh, we'll try that again here. I uh, just to cl clear out the previous uh, RAM preview. Okay, here we go. Uh, as you can see, it stopped. Um, it didn't have enough RAM to um, render the whole bit. That's why the the more you have, the better. But if you're not using it that much, obviously, if you don't use RAM preview at all to save to get more speed, just set it to one, and uh, that's that's if you do not need it and you do not use it. But I recommend using it if, you know, generally it's just best to use it. Anyway, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed that tutorial, and um, uh, I might do an After Effects. Oh no, I've already done an After Effects one. Never mind. But uh, yeah, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, if you guys want any tutorials or anything, just uh, chuck me a message and uh, yeah, peace.